such a nice day. I'm gonna take him on like a mini walk and then we're gonna head to the groomers. He needs a little haircut and a bath and he needs his nails trimmed. He's getting all the works today. Oh wait, this is an okay angle. Okay, we got this. I have to buckle him in because otherwise he wants to jump on top of me. My living room is filled with PR boxes that I need to unbox and I need to organize. I need to like make piles of the things I wanna keep, things I wanna give away. Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Come on, baby. We're here. I feel like whenever I drop Max off at the groomers, it's like my little break, my little mom break, that I get to like run all my errands. Hi, welcome to the service. What can I get for you? Thank you. Thanks, you too. Let's try this. Literally everyone on my feet has been getting this. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it tastes like dessert. Wow. So I ordered the... I got an iced chai tea latte with soy milk and then I added the pumpkin cream cold foam. This tastes amazing, wow. This is my little pick me up. This is gonna help me get all of my work done today. And I went to the container store and purchased this bin right here. I'm trying to organize all of the products that I've been getting. Sorry, I gotta put you guys a little higher. I'm trying to organize all of the products that I have been getting in PR. There's just so much stuff and it doesn't fit here. And I got even more boxes while I was away. I already had a pile of stuff here that I didn't even open before I leave. So I'm just a little overwhelmed and I cannot get work done when my home is a mess because I work from home. It just throws me off. Like everywhere I look, I'm like, I don't even want to do any work. First of all, my eyes are so water. I have the worst allergies this morning. But I just got back inside from walking Max. And oh my God, why are my eyes so watery? Whew. It is freezing outside. To put sweats and socks and layers. And I was so cold. It's like 50 something degrees. I just don't know how it dropped out of nowhere. I mean, it is early, but oh my gosh. I can't remember where I left off, you guys, but I feel like I left off right in this spot the last time I was vlogging. It's been a couple of days. I've been trying my best to just get back on track because I was away last week and this is my first week back. And I'm so excited because I ended up ordering a new camera and she got here last night. So I ended up going with the canon g7x mark 3 the camera that i'm vlogging with right now is the canon g7x mark 2 i've had it for about three years and i love this camera so much honestly if there wasn't a newer version i would have just purchased this one because i love it so much it's just very old and it's having a lot of issues with the autofocusing and also some buttons aren't working so i just needed a new camera and they happen to have a new version of the camera which i'm really excited about i've been watching videos on it and a lot of people have been saying that there's not a lot of differences the they're they've been saying that the autofocusing hasn't improved that much but to be honest that doesn't bother me because like i said i've been using this camera for years and i really really love it and i would have just repurchased the same one but there are some other features that i am looking forward to i believe with this one you can shoot in 4k which I do want to try out. What else? Uh, the autofocusing is supposed to have improved. And one of the things that I'm really, really excited about, let me take the camera out and 
then I'll let you guys know. I've been charging the battery this morning so that I can use it. It literally looks just like the camera that I'm vlogging with except it looks brand new because if you guys were to see my actual camera, it is so busted and like the colors wearing off and I'm so excited to have this new camera. But the feature that I think I'm most excited about is that with this version, you're able to shoot vertically. So supposedly if you flip the camera this way, you can film vertical videos, which is really great for content creators if you want to shoot your instagram stories on here sometimes or if you want to create igtv videos or other videos for instagram this is going to be really cool also i believe you can stream directly from this camera which is cool because um so i believe you can probably you probably will need some type of cable or i don't know if it works through wi-fi but i think you'll be able to like live stream on youtube directly from the camera which is cool because you'll be getting the quality of the camera which should be really nice and i believe that they also added a mic outlet it definitely does look a little different than my camera like some of the buttons definitely do look different and i heard that you can now add a mic which on the mark ii you cannot add an external mic i'm trying to find where it could possibly be i'm 99 sure i'm not going to be adding an external mic i feel like my audio sounds just fine especially for vlogs i really like realistic kind of vlogs i don't like them too overdone i want to Five degrees outside i just wanted to ease into fall i didn't mean for it to happen overnight i had to pull out my eggs to walk back it is way too cold <laughs> this new car i don't have somewhere where i can set my camera up to vlog i gotta figure this out but i'm on my way to pick up elva we're gonna go thrifting i've never been thrifting and i saw a tiktok of this place that was nearby and it looked really big and I don't know they found some really cool stuff so that's how i'm spending my morning it's so cold you guys so cold also i look a little weird and dirty because i did self tanner i did the two hour self tanner that way by the time i get home i can shower and get ready because i have to go to dinner later He always thinks I have a toy for him when I come home with bags. <laughs> hey! Yeah, that's better. So I got these vases. I didn't even get clothing or anything like that, but I ended up getting these vases because they look so cool. So I, so I got this one at the thrift store. These three my friend actually gave to me because she didn't want them anymore. So I kind of thrifted at her house. And then I also got, let me put you guys down over here. I got these two small frames. I think I'm going to lean them up here. Um, I have an idea of what I want to put in here, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I got this really small little vase at the thrift store. Also, this one was a dollar, which is really cool. The frames were, the small one was a dollar, and then the one that's a little bit bigger was $2. I've never been thrifting before. There were so many cute little antique looking things. I didn't really find anything clothing wise that I liked. You really have to have a lot of patience to look through those racks. But I wanna try to do a little DIY project with all of the vases so they're not going to be staying like this. I wanna try my hand at the little ceramic DIY that everyone's doing on YouTube and on Instagram. 
So we'll see how that turns out. I have to actually watch a couple videos and see exactly what materials I need. And then we can go to the craft store and get everything we need because I don't have that. But, and I didn't, I didn't go with the intention of getting these vases or anything like that, but they stood out to me. I was like, you know what? They're so cheap. I would be spending like 10 times that amount at like a home goods or something like that. So might as well grab the vases while I can and do a little DIY project because the apartment definitely needs a little more decor. And yeah. It needs a little something. My apartment's pretty bare, but I kind of like that clean, bare look. I'm wearing one of the new necklaces that are launching on Sunday Energy this Tuesday before this vlog goes up. Sorry, I have a mint in my mouth. <laughs> this is the new chain that's launching. This is our fallback chain, and I have it layered with the Look Alive Evil Eye necklace and our snake chain. I love how they look layered. I love layered. Hello, you guys. It's been a couple days. <laughs> I want to show you my outfit. It's my little transition outfit from summer to fall. This is what I'm going to be wearing today. My mom gave me these pants yesterday. She bought them from a store called Francesca's Collection and they were a little too small on her. So I love them. They're super comfortable. I actually have another pair of pants from them, like just flowy kind of summery pants. The green ones I wore in DR and they're just so freaking comfortable. And then it's, it's that weird weather where not really cold yet but not hot so the material is pretty breathable it's like a nice stretchy little material this little crop top is from naked wardrobe i love their basics they're so amazing and comfortable so yeah this is what i'm wearing i'm not leaving for a few hours so i just have my slippers on but i will probably throw on some sandals i feel like my hair is not looking right i washed it yesterday but it was like one of those things like where I, I didn't really put too much effort in styling it. So I'm going to have to redo it tomorrow. Anyways, I went to Michael's to get some materials for the vases. And I got to show you guys what I got because everything is so freaking pretty. I'm so obsessed. I can't wait to actually work on it. Wait, Maxi, me and you are the vibe of this apartment. Like your color, my top color. This We are the vibe of this apartment, right? All right, let me get the stuff. Not for you. I need a pillow to sit on. I don't want to get my pants dirty. Okay, let me show you guys what I got at Michael's. When I went to the store, I was really rushed because I was a little bit far from my house and I had a friend coming over on her lunch break. So I was just rushing and I didn't really take my time. But I feel like for the most part, I got what I wanted. You guys let me know if I need anything else. But... I picked three pink colors so that I can do three different colors on the vases. I did this burnt sienna color, which I feel like it's a nice fall color. So I'm going to do one of the vases that color. I did portrait pink or rose portrait. I don't know how I feel about this color yet. The sample looked really nice. That's why I grabbed it. But I don't know how, how I feel about it yet. And then I just grabbed this. Other one called Unbleached Titanium. And this is kind of like an off-white cream color. And these are all acrylic paint. And then, what else did I grab? Oh, I got this set of paint brushes. It brings three different sizes. Ah! And it's by the brand called Artist Loft. I just, on, again, I just quickly grabbed whatever I saw that I thought I needed. And then I bought a bunch of different like florals like fake florals they were all half off so i just grabbed literally a bunch of different ones and whatever i don't end up using i can return it but i just wanted to kind of like play around with the things that i grabbed so, so yeah i just kind of went with like cream tones peachy kind of like muted mauvey pink these are so cute Look at these. Oh, this is all one thing. These are kind of like these like pale pink little puff balls. What else did I grab? Oh, these tall flowers. Oh, these things. I just loved the color and the texture of these to kind of break it up and like not just have like actual flowers, but kind of like cool different texture. So I grabbed two of these because I was just obsessed with the color. 
And then I grabbed one in white. I don't even know what this is, but I don't know. Everything just looks, it all looks so good together. I grabbed two of these little pink puff flowers and two cream ones. And then the only thing I'm missing is baking powder because I saw some tutorials and people mixed their paint with some baking powder to kind of give it that texture look. So I'm not going to be doing the DIY in this video, but I will be doing it in the next video. I'm going to order some baking powder online so that it'll get here in the next couple of days. And I will film that for the next vlog and see how everything turns out. But yeah, sorry to be ending this video like this. I thought I was going to be doing the DIY in this video, but I'm missing the baking powder and I'm just, I really want to get this video up before because tomorrow is Sunday. You guys are going to be watching this video tomorrow. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got so far. And this way you guys can give me any feedback you have in the comments since I haven't actually started the DIY. Oh, I'm going to stick these in the vase. I Look how pretty this looks, you guys. Like just like with the vases undone and like all just stuffed together. I love these colors. Look at how pretty that looks. Like... I just threw it all in there just to keep it there until I'm ready to start working, but I'm obsessed with how these colors look together. Hey guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.